Hi Capricorn, this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Collar. Give me a second. There. A little closer to the table. Okay. This is your reading for the month of July 2021. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I also offer one-on-one -on -one readings. All the information is below. It's very warm here. And moving slowly and deliberately. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. Did I say that the right way the first time? I don't think so. Just being here with the reading with you at the moment. Slowing down. You know, I feel like that's kind of the energy for the month for July. It's like, yeah, you get to do, you need to do what you need to do, but it doesn't have to be frantic. It's like, know that it'll get done when it gets done. And it's like, okay, well, I'm just going to do what I need to do as much as I can do today. And then when I'm tired or I, I feel uh, uninspired or whatever, I'll pick it up later in an hour or tomorrow or tonight or whatever. Feels like that. Feels like that really for everybody. Anyway, let's see if the cards agree with me. You know, might get all these like fast moving cards. You never know. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, well, I don't really get fast moving. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles, not fast moving. Death could go either way with movement. And then the Six of Cups. Hmm. Okay. Now, this card came up last month for like so many people, last week, I should say. Um, so, you know, the Knights are about action. He's the only knight that doesn't move, which makes him unusual. He, you know, he could actually be a knight of Capricorn in a way. You know, sometimes when people read cards, I never understood, but people, some people read cards, it's like, oh, this is a young man, and they're, they're definitely an earth sign. It's like, maybe not. It's an archetype, right? Okay. Could be a man, it could be a woman. Does it, the age, it's just the, whatever. All right. So the energy of this card is really about slow and steady. Like I said, building something that's going to last, right? Building something that's going to last. So he's um, very efficient, very methodical, very earth-based, very practical. That's the energy. And then we get the great transformer. Something, something dies, something is born. Simple as that. Something is, is, is done and something new comes out of it, the phoenix. And then we get the past, the revisit of the past. Right? Like a gift from the past, a, a gift of memory, a gift of nostalgia, a gift of a happy memory. Or it could actually be a person from the past that shows up or uh, an energy or a uh, remembrance. And there's always this energy of a gift with this card because there's a gift being given here, right? And, you know, cups are emotion. Hmm. Maybe you get to revisit a project that didn't go right the first time or an energy that didn't go right the first time. And you get to revisit and transform it, make it into something new. Now you have new information. Now you have um, like a memory of 
what did work, what didn't work, and you're able to use that and transform it into something useful, transform it into something, transform it into a, a new way of doing things, you know, um, transform it into like a new entity. You get the card of rests. So maybe this is about looking at the past or looking at, if, maybe this is like a revisit of something you're doing that you've done before and say, where did I go wrong? Where did I miss the opportunities? How did I miss the opportunities that were there in the past? Um, and how can I utilize them now? How can I utilize them now? We get another form. Did I give too much of myself last time? Did I uh, overextend myself financially or uh, emotionally or even mentally? How can I get the same thing done bigger or better or in a more efficient way without expending so much of my energy? What have I learned from the time that I did it before? How could I, in other words, how can I work smarter? Another four. Wow. So, uh, we have three fours, very interesting. So, four is about stability. So, I feel like there's this revisit of the past either a situation or a um, uh, like a, a project or something. And it, you know, you're kind of realizing where it went wrong. And so you're kind of going back and fixing or, or um, tweaking or whatever the word would be for you in order to make it something more solid, right? in order to make it something more solid, something that's more um, fulfilling, something that's more fulfilling, something that's more, um, it needs to, it, something needs to be transformed. And I feel like it's a creative kind of, it might be a money project, it, it's like, I think you've learned things in the past and now you're able to actually use, utilize those um, uh, lessons in order to build something that's more sustainable, more practical, more um, um, solid, more solid and you know, you're willing to go back and look and kind of transform your mistakes into something useful and transform your memory into something useful and transform your uh, experience into something that's more um, long lasting, more solid, more stable, more uh, uh, foundational. You have three fours. You know, and four is really the energy. I mean, it's the four corners, right? It's the four um, directions. Four is really the earth plane. Four is really the energy of the earth plane. So it's a very physical, um, solid, stable, material kind of energy I'm talking about. This isn't uh, up in the clouds. This isn't like, uh, you know, changing your way of thinking. This is about something in the physical world, in, in this plane. Um, 
because we start with the pentacle. That's what the pentacles are about. And that's what uh, earth signs are about. Um, so we, because we start with this and then we get three fours, right? And there's, there's information in the past, uh, like a memory or a nostalgia or a, uh, that, that can help you transform this into something more um, long lasting, more long lasting. So it's interesting. You know, because you get to like go back and and use um, information from the past and, and make it into something useful, which is great, which is great. I'm all about that. It's like, okay, you know, this is a weird example, but let's say you have an old piece of furniture and it really looks like, oh my God. And, you know, you repaint it, you add legs, you subtract legs, you change the knobs, you know, you put a, a marble top on it or a glass top on it or something. And it's like, oh, well, this is how I reuse the past and made it into something completely new and it's more stable and it's more long lasting. And like, that would be an example. That would be an example. So maybe that'll help you. You know, I love me my metaphors. <laughs> All right. And remember, it's slow and steady. It's slow and steady. It's okay. You know, you'll get you'll get there when you get there, and you'll get there exactly on time. We always get there exactly on time. Um, so that's that. Have a lovely July. Enjoy July for what July is. And the little birdies are visiting, and even if they are tweeting away, and I'm sure they are saying, "Thank you, Jeffrey. I love your little garden." Um, I can't hear them because the air, you can't hear them because of this. I can't hear them for the air conditioning, the windows closed. So let's pretend they're saying, you gave a wonderful message, Jeffrey. Reuse the past and do something uh, transformative with it. Mm -hmm. Blessings. <laughs>